so how do people take it and how long should they stay on it? So a couple of different dosing routes. The most potent dosing route for any medication is going to be injection because then your body's not having to break it down any other way. It's getting directly into the bloodstream. So if taken in injectable form, it's a subcutaneous injection five nights a week. You have to, it has to be at least two hours after your last meal of the day. So like you eat dinner and then you have nothing but water after that. So that can be a little difficult for some people. You can't have a glass of wine in the evenings or anything. Thing, any sort of sugar in your system is going to disrupt the ability for the peptide to be able to work correctly. Interesting. So two hours of fasting, do the injection, and you can't have anything to eat or drink besides water for at least 30 minutes afterwards. So typically I advise people, nothing after dinner, do your injection before bed and just go on to bed. The right. injection stimulates an immediate release of growth hormone. And then once you go to sleep, that's when you naturally have another release of growth hormone. So we're getting kind of a double dose in okay. that way. For people who don't love injections me. Um, <laughs> another route is what's called a trochee, or we can even make it even smaller into a trit, which is this teeny, teeny, tiny little thing that dissolves underneath your tongue. So again, two hours of no food, water only, pop it under your tongue before bed and just go to bed. So s same directions, five nights a week? Five nights on, two nights off. But just maybe not quite as potent? Yeah, just not quite as potent. So okay. we, typically we increase the dose a little bit in okay. a trit form. Going sublingual, it is dissolving and getting into the bloodstream, not quite as well as an injection would be, but it's much easier than an injection would be.